Hey folks, and welcome to this series of videos on the Rhapsody Profile Builder. In this first video, I'll give you a brief introduction to what the Profile Builder is, and we'll start using it. So what is the Profile Builder? Well, quite simply, it's a toolkit for anyone that's ever had to create a Rhapsody profile. Profiling in Rhapsody is hugely powerful. In addition to the standard new terms that Rhapsody allows you to use to build your own domain-specific languages, there are a wealth of other features you might use. Perspectives, overriding properties, defining new properties, property perspectives, conditional properties, guide me's, helper files for custom automation, custom model browsers, context patterns, and more. All of this can be very time-consuming and complex to create, and even harder to maintain. The Profile Builder makes it so much simpler and faster to build a profile. If you already have a profile, no problem. It even includes reverse engineering, so you don't have to start from scratch if you have existing content. In this video, we're going to create a profile from scratch, and over the course of these videos, we'll build that profile up. In this case, we'll model a simple domain-specific language style profile that allows us to model networking concepts, so servers, printers, routers, and so on. All right, let's get started. Here we are in Rhapsody, and I'll start by creating a new project. And I'll call it simply Builder. This is the project I'll use to build the profile. In the Project Type field, I'll select Profile Builder. As you can see here in the model browser, the Profile Builder is itself a profile with its own domain-specific language and a ton of automation to speed up your profile creation. Our new project has a custom welcome page, highlighting some of the key things that the Profile Builder can help with. It comes with a hands-on workshop that walks you through building a profile using the automation step by step. There's a guide me with a checklist of how to get started. Later, we'll see how the profile builder can help in building those guide me's. In fact, almost everything in the profile builder was built using the profile builder. So the profile builder profile itself is also a great reference example. Lastly, we have a full help system available either in HTML or in the Microsoft Help Browser. Over here in the model browser, we have an initial profile builder package that is going to contain all of the artifacts that help us model our new profile. Let's use the first piece of automation. If I right click that profile builder package and select profile builder create profile, we now have our new profile. Let's rename it networks. And then let's also give it a description. Now you'll see why I did that in just a moment. Before we continue, let's see what we have in our profile building package. First of all, we have a property file, and it has a tag that indicates that it is the root property file for our new profile. That will generate a PRP file with the same name as our profile, so Rhapsody will automatically load it when that profile is used. Now, of course, right now that generated PRP file will be empty, but we will definitely change that. We also have two tables to help us add new stereotypes into our new profile, one of which is open in the editing area. We'll use those a little bit later. But before we go any further, Let's move the profile. Right now, it's still owned by this project that we're using to build it, but it's much more common for profiles to be located in either the share or user share profile folders in the file system. Now here, we have two automation options, so we can decide which of those locations we want. I'm going to put this one into the Rhapsody share folder. Now that automation moves the underlying SBSX file into the right place, and then it also adds it back into this profile builder model as an editable reference, so we can continue modifying it. If I now ask the profile builder to show me the file in Windows File Explorer, there it is in the Rhapsody Share Profiles area. 
but it's also added a text file with the same name and that contains the profile description. Now Rhapsody itself uses that to decide if this profile should appear in the available types when you create a new project. So let's do that. I'll go back to Rhapsody and I will insert a new project into the same Rhapsody workspace. Let's call that one My Network. And notice that Networks is one of the available options in the project type. Now I have two projects loaded, one where I'm building the profile and another where I'm using it. So I can easily switch back and forth between modifying the profile and then seeing what kind of experience the users of my profile will have. That's it for now. In the next video, we'll see how the profile builder makes it so much easier to work with properties and those PRP files.